Story time. Back when I was still in graduate school, so in the before time, in the long, long ago, I was talking to a mentor as I began my preparation for my own dissertation defense. And he told me about a candidate who, years before, had put up a number of equations and uh, statements up on a board explaining his work. When a member of his committee looked at him and said, can you tell me about this? And asked him a question that was in no way clearly answered by what had been written on the board or what he had said so far. And the candidate paused, turned around, looked back and said, I don't know, let me think about this. And as he turned around again, the member of the committee stopped him. He said, that's all I wanted to know. See, the person in the committee didn't actually care about the answer. The only thing he was concerned with was whether or not the candidate would be willing to admit he didn't know the answer and go forward with curiosity about what the answer might be. And this story has stuck with me throughout my career because the value of being open to not knowing and to being curious to learn more things as we move through life is the most fundamental, in my view, aspect of true, genuine scientific inquiry. So anyway, I thought I'd share. I hope you found it useful. And if you wanted to talk a little bit more about this, please follow the comment above to uh, my life is an RPGs uh, video about this topic that goes into some great ideas and depth on it as well.